Hey y'all, it's Chris with the Fat Black Girl and today we are talking about a topic that is near and dear to my heart. It has been in my list of video ideas for as long as I've started this channel. Before we get into the discussion, can we can we talk about it? We're going to have this conversation every time I see you. And the thing is, you're into me. Like you you know you like me. And you've been watching this content on the sly. So go ahead and subscribe. I don't even know why you're tripping. Like own it. You're into a fat black woman. And hello, you're welcome. Hit that subscribe button. And I also want you to click the notification bell. So you'll know anytime I'm uploading this fat black girl content magic. Because you know you want to get into it. Hello. So... Without any further ado, let's get into the video. So if you've had anything to do with black women, like in your life ever, you're familiar with, all right, look, I, I know I had a breakdown. I know this is due. I know this is going on, but things still gotta get done. I know I just broke my ankle. I know my husband just left me. I know my kid is sick, but things still got to get done. I call that the superwoman syndrome. I'm pretty sure I'm not the one to coin it. So let me just let me just be clear for the girls. Read me. I'm not saying I invented it. I'm just saying that I think that that's what it's called. Growing up, I'm surrounded by black women. And that is the energy that I've gotten from all of them. Keep going. Keep grinding. You know, making it happen despite all odds. Because that's what we as black women do. That is is black girl magic that is resilience that is fortitude that is strength that is energy that is the the nurturing energy that has built this country quite frankly but it's not free right it comes at a really high cost your peace of mind your body your mental and emotional and spiritual well-being all of those factors are how you pay for being superwoman. It's the cost of the excellence that comes from black woman and black female energy. And while it's amazing to be part of this coalition, this great cloud of witnesses of black girl magic and black female excellence, it's taxing, it's draining, it is, it, it, it tugs at the very core of who you are. Quite frankly, black women can always find that last bit of energy, that last tug, that last pull to get us through to the next thing that requires our attention, but it comes at a cost. What happens when you've tapped into the last bit of your energy, when your reserves are empty, when your backup tank is running low? This video is in part inspired by being a black woman who has done this, right? The past two years have been a whirlwind of thing after thing after thing after thing after thing. And I had to pull on all of those resources. Every last bit of energy I had left in the tank, I had to use to get through this year. Because where, where I could be refilled by gathering with my friends and family, I couldn't do that this year. I want to offer this wacky, wild idea. Take a break. I wore this sweatshirt on purpose because this is our mentality. And this is how we move through this world. This is how Black women have to make it in this world. Good things come to those who hustle and we can never stop hustling. Black women do not have room for mistakes. We don't have room to doubt ourselves. We don't have room to take any days off. And it's, it's horrible. Everyone else is entitled to a break, but us. Shout out to Power in Black if you want to sponsor your girl because I wear I wear your stuff all the time, okay? Powerinblack.com. It is a Black-owned uh, clothing brand, and I love them. They're online, okay? Sponsor your girl. But a lot of us are at the end of our ropes. It's me. I'm a lot of us. I found myself unable to get out of my bed 
and you could say depression probably you could say that you know i've been pushing a lot i've been working a lot i've been dealing with a lot and all of that's true and i haven't taken a break and i'm starting to feel the weight of that in social media you see these memes that are really judgmental and they say things like you know if you don't work on your own dream after you clock out of your nine to five you're lazy and that's been my mentality that's been what i've been doing to get through i'm a beyonce fan she has a song lyrics that says i don't get no days off i mean it's it's just this world it's this secure the bag on my grind grind until you get it mentality and i'm not saying that's wrong what i am saying is when that mentality starts to break you down instead of build you up you need to take a break so i'm working through guilt and shame guilt for laying in bed when there's laundry i could do i could be doing a video i could be editing a video i could be engaging on social media i could be working for the job that i love i have a nine to five job that i love i could be doing that but instead on days that i just decide to sleep in and hello sleeping in for me is like 8 30 i find myself feeling really guilty like I don't deserve a break, like I don't deserve to rest. Excellence is exhausting. And I always want to do everything I do in excellence. And when you don't rest and recharge, it shows. The cracks in the crown show. So I've been replacing guilt with grace. And I wanna implore you to do the same. I know that this is probably the case for women of all cultures and ethnicities, but I'm talking to my black women. I'm talking to the women that don't have the opportunity to shed tears and get whatever they want. I'm talking to the women who have to work twice as hard to get half as much. I'm talking to the women who are the lowest on the totem pole. I'm talking to those women who despite all odds have to push forward. Try giving yourself grace instead of guilt. It's important. It's important to you living <laughs> and not just living and enjoying your life, living like breathing in and out all day long. So I'm actively practicing trading my guilt for grace and trading embarrassment for encouragement. I would be embarrassed to share some of the things that are going on in my life. Instead of being embarrassed, I want to turn that embarrassment into encouragement. And telling myself, Chris, you can do it, take today off. Because the more you rest up, the more you'll be able to do later. And the better you'll be able to do everything you want to do. This isn't a rat race, it's a marathon. And some of us don't have the liberty of running at a safe pace. But when you hear your body say, I need a break, sis, take a break. I'm not telling you not to be superwoman. I, I mean, I kinda can't help it. I'm kind of a big deal. But what I am saying is to pace yourself. We need you here. There's something unique and awesome about you that needs to be here. So sis, if you need a break, take a break. If you need a moment to have a moment, take a moment. Breathe and keep it moving. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, it's just something that I just needed to get out. I had a three hour conversation with two beautiful, beautiful black women, my sisters, and everybody's struggling. We're all having a hard time. And we all feel like we can't take a break. We can't have a moment, but we can and we should. So sis, take a moment. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope that you learned something. And if you did, you know what I want you to do. Comment, share, rate, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye.